Alright you guys got another ransomware video here for you. This is the new server free and as you can see just looks like a, a Microsoft uh, file uh, patch or installation file or what it may be looking like is exactly that to me. So what do we do uh, and how can we protect ourselves with ransomware and should you be worried about ransomware and I think the answer to that for me is definitely yes. I know a load of people that have been hit by ransomware and it completely cripples you. I mean, it takes all your data and encrypts all your data. And some people don't get the opportunity to decrypt their files and they lose everything because they're not following a couple of simple steps. So while I click on this, I'm going to be telling you some simple steps you can take. So let's click on this file and uh, we'll talk about some steps that you can take. So you can see here on the screen, before I do this, you can see it's going to start deleting all the shadow uh, volume copies on the computer. Now, the first step is common sense. Common sense. You need to use common sense when using the computer. You need to be uh, internet smart and not click on any links, any fall for any pop-ups. Don't share files with people, download files from other people's sites. Don't execute any uh, files or anything like that. So these are the common sense things. If you follow those steps, you're not going to fall foul to ransomware. Two, make sure you back up your data on a regular basis. And uh, if you do that and you store that on an external drive away from the computer, as you can see here, we've now been hit with server free. It's that simple. While I've been talking to you for Attention. one minute and 40 seconds, Attention. we've now Attention. got all our data your encrypted documents. and Photos, that's it. We're done for. Other so if we haven't got any backups, uh, we've documents. fallen foul Phones, to their uh, other ransomware and now we're being held to ransom by these to Phones, get our data back. That's how simple and easy it is to click on stuff. Your documents, so photos, if you don't download any executable files, files or any pirate stuff or anything like that, you're going to be pretty much photos, safe. Databases and other important Again, files uh, have been what else uh, can you do? Well, you can have layered security software. So if you've got layered security software, what is layered security software? It's basically starting from the very bottom. So let's have a look at this account here. We're using a, a user account here, which is administrator, okay? So that is the first step I would start changing. I would use this as a limited user. And yeah, of course it, it restricts you from doing stuff, but then that's what you want. You don't want uh, malware to just freely drop onto the system. You click on it and it installs itself. If you run this as a limited user, it's gonna restrict a lot of that uh, from happening then you get yourself a good antivirus program then you put on uh, you know a good anti-malware program a good firewall and a, a you know maybe a good anti-ransomware program and you can choose whatever ones you like I'm not going to list them all out because people always say oh this is this uh, setup is better this setup is better so you can choose whatever you like but make sure you've got those and use your common sense with that as well and limited user and I guarantee you won't uh, get infected okay uh, with ransomware or any other type of malware so basically that's how you can stay protected uh, on the internet it's, it's really a lot of it is user error so and this is why they keep making these because people pay for them to get their files decrypted and then it's just going to entice them to make more of this sort of nasty stuff and there's loads of these on the internet trust me so let's take a look at some of the links that I'm going to show you here. We've got Secure A+, that comes with a 12 antivirus engine. As you can see, very lightweight and it's very strong at protecting you against uh, malware and also uh, ransomware. Also got uh, Malwarebytes Anti-Ransomware Beta, that's another one. And also we have Win Anti-Ransom as well, which is based on just protecting you against ransomware. And you can see here a pretty fair price for that as well. Now also for antivirus programs, uh, you've got Kaspersky, ESET, there's loads of them out there. Uh, I found Kaspersky's got a very good anti-ransomware protection on it uh, as well. And they've always been pretty good with ransomware. And you've seen me do videos on that as well. Uh, if you like the free versions, you can also use a VAST free or a VARA, uh, which is another free uh, tool to use. So the two free ones, a VAST and a VARA, there's other ones out there as well. You can use those if you wish. The next thing you want to use is your uh, firewall. You can use uh, Zone Alarm, which is a really decent firewall 
uh, which is pretty good at protecting you. And you want to learn to use firewalls. Firewalls are so strong in allowing traffic to go in and out of your computer, and it really is a, a really good defense. So using firewalls instead of just using the Windows firewall is a really good step up in security, and I'd advise you to start learning how to uh, use firewalls. Uh, and you will not fall foul to any sort of problems. Again, uh, Komodo offer a free firewall and so do uh, this company for uh, Privacyware. This is a free, uh, and I've done videos on this as well, so you can watch those uh, videos. Now also, uh, you've got other anti-malware programs like Malwarebytes, um, Premium, and I've just tagged a couple of extras on here. Uh, anti-malware Premium by Ant uh, Malwarebytes, Definitely get the premium version. Uh, don't skimp out and just use the free version. This is running all the time and will protect you uh, from a lot of malware sites, dodgy sites and stuff like that. It's continually updated all the time and you will get uh, a better protection there as well. And also I've bunged up this one as well for you uh, as well, just in case you want to use that. And there is other ones as well out there. I've not, I've not selected these as being the best. They're just some of the links that I wanted to share with you guys so you can use these. Because it asks the same questions over and over again. So there is other software out there that you can use, but these are just some of the ones that I've chosen. And that is basically it, really. Uh, I'm not going to waste my time showing you uh, removing this uh, and, and decrypting stuff. Sometimes you, uh, you might get a decryption tool available, and as soon as these become available, I'll try and notify people uh, to let you know that you can uh, decrypt these files. But sometimes it's very, very difficult. And also another thing to point out is when you actually go to these uh, links here, these links get killed off by um, antivirus uh, companies very quickly. So if you are encrypted, uh, all your data is encrypted and you're trying to decrypt files, sometimes going to these Tor sites and trying to get them to uh, to decrypt your files, they then sometimes are taken down and uh, that means you're not going to be able to get your data back anyway. So let me just have a look here. Uh, as you can see, here, if you go into the help document, uh, you'll see there is uh, information here on how to recover your data if you're going to pay for that. Okay. Now, I've seen a lot of people pay for this sort of stuff. Personally, I would not pay for it, uh, but these are the temporary addresses that they're asking you to, to go to. Okay, so let me just go here and show you uh, exactly what that is, and we'll see. Um, so we're just going to push enter, and you can see the site has already been taken down, uh, and that means if you got hit with this on the internet, and this is still up there somewhere, and you download it and it encrypts you, uh, then you're going to have trouble getting your data back anyway using these methods. As you can see here, the site cannot be reached. And this is generally what happens as well. And they do normally tell you that in here, uh, that, that these uh, companies get taken down very quickly. Anyway, I'm not going to waste my time showing you any of that stuff because you've seen me uh, talk about these uh, so much. If you want to see any more different videos, then let me know in the comment section below and also on my forums. And, that, and I'll know exactly what you guys want to see. If you want to see more of this sort of stuff, then let me know and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when we upload new videos. And also, if you've got any problems with your computers or any video requests, anything like that, you can head over to the forums. And also, you can catch me on my Facebook fan page and uh, give us a little like up over there as well if you want to. Anyway, thanks again. Thanks for your continued support. And I shall see you again in the next video. Bye for now.